engineer. I uh, began working in 1962 after graduating from college. I'm retired now, but I'm still very much active in related areas, and I'm very much interested in the work that Witz and Timothy Thrapp are doing. I've been in his lab numerous times. I've seen demonstrations, and though I'm a skeptic, I've seen the truth of what he can do in his lab. He's learned how to convert dominant energy, energy that exists on this planet and in the universe, into usable electrical power. And that's very important for all of us because it is key to becoming independent of fossil fuels and other pollutants that uh, are downgrading the life on this planet. The interesting thing about his lab is that there are no hidden wires, no secret connections anywhere to make the prototypes in the lab function. Even a 9-volt battery, once it's removed after being used to start uh, one of the processes turning. After being removed, the process continues to run. And when you put a load on it, the output becomes significantly greater. Very interesting the way all of this works. The same dominant energy sources can be used to break water down into its uh, monoatomic elements, oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen. When you recombine these, in an internal combustion energy, you get significantly more power out than it took to break them down into their monoatomic elements. Timothy and his, and his engineers have converted vehicles that operate without fuel and without requiring a trunk full of storage batteries. No recharging cable required. It's very interesting that we can do this because it eliminates the need for fuel stops. It eliminates the need for burning gasoline or any other fossil fuel or, or vegetable fuel too. They all, they all cause the same kind of pollution. Is this technology new? I don't think so. Nikolai Tesla understood it. Um, many years ago. Others too have known uh, how to eliminate dependence on fossil fuels. All of you listening to this get behind the, this kind of a project. It's the only way we can affect change. We need to change the world by changing the world one person at a time and it begins with each one of you. It begins with us but it begins with each one of you and together we can change the world and we can make this kind of thing happen. So that's what I wanted to share with you today and that's the idea of what we can do together. Hi, my name is Stephen Smith. I've had the pleasure of knowing Timothy Thrapp for about two years now, and uh, he showed me some things that uh, have really caught my interest. What I've seen of Timothy's experiments are something that have been proven to me. Uh, I am not an electrical genius or anything like that. I'm a common guy that inquires. I want to know what makes things tick. I take a look at things from an objectivity standpoint, and if it does what it says it does, it does it the way he says it does, and it can be proven that way with sight and sound and touch, then it's believable to me. More importantly, when you're dealing with things like this that can be looked at by skeptics and, and questioned, and, and, and you might think that, ah, oh, this guy's a charlatan, this guy could uh, be pulling the wool over everybody's eyes, particularly when asking for money and funding. When talking about Timothy, he is a man of integrity. 
We have grown up with this country with the uh, type of age and the industrial age where more and more power needs to be generated to create the kind of lifestyle that we've had for many, many years. Uh, we have to have alternative sources of creating energy, alternative sources of maintaining the kind of power that's necessary to do the good things that are, are being capable of doing. I think Timothy Thrapp has come up with some of that technology. I think God has blessed him greatly with knowledge and with truth and with honesty. And for that reason, I'm asking you and each one of us to dig into your pockets a little bit. You know, Come up with the type of funding. There's somebody in the world here that has a lot of money to put into a project like this. There are other people in the world that have little things that they can do to aid in the research that's being done on the kind of technology that is presented here today. So what I'm asking you for today is to have a little faith in mankind, have a little faith in the kind of research that's being done in this area, and from that standpoint, if we all pull together, we will have the resources that God wants to bless us with. Thank you.